Gather around, little adventurers. Today, we're traveling to a whimsical land where a story awaits about a special black sheep. In a quaint village, there was a unique black sheep. Every spring, she would share her beautiful wool and take it to the market, hoping to warm someone with a cozy garment. But one year, something changed. It seemed that nobody fancied black wool anymore. Day after day, our little sheep tried to sell her wool, but to no avail. Yet, she didn't give up. She tried new tactics, from flashy signs to sweet songs, but nothing worked. Just when she was feeling her lowest, a bright-eyed boy approached, his eyes sparkling with curiosity. Got the milk? Wait here. <coughs> Excuse me, Miss Sheep, is this beautiful black wool for sale? With a heart full of joy, she nodded. The boy's parents revealed a secret. They were from a neighboring village, searching high and low for this rare black wool. Our little black sheep couldn't believe her ears. That day, she sold every strand of her precious wool. With a heart brimming with happiness, she realized that perseverance and hope can make dreams come true. Remember, little adventurers never give up, or one day, your efforts will shine bright. And that day might be just around the corner. So, dear listeners, the age-old lesson stands. Perseverance and hope despite facing consistent rejection. The black sheep persisted in trying to sell her wool. Instead of accepting defeat, she continually adapted and tried different strategies. Her determination symbolizes the power of hope and perseverance, happiness and validation. The sheep's joy upon finally selling her wool wasn't just about the sale itself, but also about the recognition of her value. It teaches that patience and persistence can eventually lead to acknowledgement, and that feeling valued is a profound source of happiness. Belief in oneself, despite the village's changing preferences, the black sheep never saw her wool as inferior. Her unwavering belief in the value of her will serves as a lesson about self-worth and confidence. Carry with you the spirit of persistence and belief. For the world may sometimes be late in recognizing your brilliance, but when it does, it'll be worth the wait. Just like the tree that stands tall through seasons, or the butterfly that emerges after a patient wait, your time to shine will come. And when it does, it will be brighter and more beautiful than you ever imagined. So little adventurers, carry with you the spirit of persistence and belief. For the world may sometimes be late in recognizing your brilliance, but when it does, it'll be worth the wait. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope the story can reach to your heart about your faith and your convenience. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it's me, Lucy in the town. How is your day? Meet Jack, the lifeline of our town, delivering smiles and packages. Hi Jack, how you doing? Cool, here is yours. Thanks, have a good day Jack. You too. Cake lovers, join me on a dessert escapade. Hey, you're up first. Time for sugar, but just enough for the sweet spot. Mix it up. Adding some secret ingredients to our mix. Unsweetened milk to balance our creation. Blend smoothly. We want fluffy dreams. Spread and send it off to a 350 degree Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. While it bakes, jam or chocolate. Choose your delight. Ever try coffee in jelly form? Coffee or cocoa for our younger chefs. milk, sugar, gelatin, and our brood secret. Shape and set. cakes out. Time for the artsy bit. Once the cake has cooled, you can also garnish with fresh berries or whipped cream for added flavor and decoration. I will add creamy frosting with coffee jelly nuggets. Accessorize as you dream. Do you like MM candy? So colorful. Done. 
So beautiful cake. Wrapped up. A cake stunner. I think I'll turn this into a neighborhood tree fiesta. Do you guys have any creative ideas brewing in your minds? Drop a comment and share the type of cake you'd love to see me whip up next. I have a present for you. Well, Nutella. Thank you for giving me this gift. Thank you. around little adventurers i'm lucy today we're traveling to a whimsical land where a story awaits about the turnips in the shivering embrace of winter where the chill winds whisper tales of hardship our little story unwraps meet our free friend bunny cloaked in a cozy jacket venturing into the frosty wilds in search of a bite to sustain his little belly and oh fortune does shine 
He finds not one but two white turnips peeking through the snow. His heart leaps with joy. Oh, what luck! Two scrumptious turnips! A true winter treasure! But amidst his hunger, a thought blossoms in Bunny's heart. His friend, Goat, must also be wrestling with winter's harshness. Bunny decides one turnip shall warm his friend's belly and spirit. To Goat's empty abode, Bunny leaves a turnip, a gesture unseen yet deeply felt. Goat, upon his return, is greeted by this unexpected gift and a similar thought raises his mind regarding his friend, Deer. A portion of his found turnip and the gifted one will travel further in this dance of kindness. Deer, her eyes twinkling with surprise at the sight of a turnip upon her table, who is swept into this beautiful chain of compassion, thinking of Bunny shivering in his burrow. Back to our slumbering Bunny, dreaming perhaps of fields of turnips, unaware of the approaching surprise. When Bunny awakens, a gleaming white turnip awaits him. Dear friends, Goat and Deer, come, let's share this blessing together and weave a warm memory in this icy winter. And so, in Bunny's cozy dwelling, the three friends, diverse yet alike, share not just the turnip but something deeper, a feast that nourished their bodies and a selfless love that warmed their souls. Dear friends, isn't it enchanting how a simple act of kindness, even amidst the harshness of winter, can weave a tapestry of warmth and love? Let's carry this tale in our hearts and remember, the warmth we share always finds its way back, often when we least expect it. The story beautifully conveys messages about kindness, empathy, and the interconnectivity of friendship. Kindness begets kindness, generosity, and compassion. Despite facing his hunger and the harsh winter, Bunny thinks of Goat and decides to share his good fortune, sparking a chain of benevolence. Selflessness. Each character, despite their own needs, thinks of their friend and acts selflessly. Friendship and unity. Friendship, the strong bond between Bunny, Goat, and Deer is evident in their thoughtfulness and consideration for each other. Unity. At the end, all three friends come together to share not just the physical nourishment of the turnip but also the emotional nourishment of friendship and kindness. Joy and sharing. Collective happiness. The joy derived from sharing and ensuring the well-being of friends surpasses the joy of solitary consumption. Building memories. The act of sharing becomes a cherished memory that likely strengthens their friendship further. Gratitude. The appearance of turnips might be seen as small miracles, inspiring gratitude and a willingness to share. The story is a gentle reminder of the timeless values of empathy, generosity, and unity, particularly amidst challenging times. It reflects that acts of kindness, however small, can create ripples of positivity and bring warmth into our lives and the lives of others, often when it's most needed. It's a beautiful narrative that exemplifies how altruism can weave a comforting web of love and friendship amidst the icy fingers of hardship. Wow, how cool is that? Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of courage and camaraderie. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories like this. Until next time, stay united and spread positivity.
If it has some mint leaf, we'll be perfect. It looks so fresh. Wow, that good. What cake will I make tomorrow? Two naughty animals. Yours. It's your girl Lucy rocking the scene. I'm so excited about the rainbow Oreo. What? It was not rainbow Oreo. I will make my own rainbow Oreo cake. Right along, peeps. Grab a bowl and toss in some Oreos. Crush in time, baby. Next, 
we're whipping up a luscious cake base. Got some butter, a sprinkle of sugar here. Let's fluff it up. We want that butter airy and light. I have used yolks only, folks. Splash of milk. And can't forget the flour. Mix it up till it's all blended nice and smooth. Perfect consistency. Right, not too thick, not too runny. Don't ghost on those crushed Oreos, blend them in. Pour the mixture into a mold. Heat's on. Oven time crew. Oh, hey Max. Fancy a quick soccer match. You got pets at home. I'm all about these for balls. All love and snuggles like family. Uh oh, cake's ready. King tight, Max. Slicing up the cake layers now. Prep for some cream filling. Using buttercream here. No clue on the recipe. Catch my next vid. Promise it's a cakewalk. Going all out with rainbow icing. Pick your vibe, any color. Smoothening out with the spatula. Drizzle some melted chocolate on top for that drool factor. Embed those mini Oreos. Almost masterpiece level, y'all! How'd you find this recipe? Easy peasy and pretty, right? If I zip too fast or you're puzzled, drop those questions below. Crunch time. Taste test, come on. What a flavor bomb. Gracias for hanging till the end. Show some love, hit that support button.
Friends, it's me, Lucy in the town. How's your day going? Join me and let's whip up a delightful treat today. First off, we'll use a grater like this one to finely grate some white chocolate. Be careful, friends. It's super sharp and we don't want any nicks, especially for our younger pals. Make sure to ask an adult for help. Now, I'm going to divide this bowl of chocolate, place it over a pot and melt it using a Bain-Murray method. You can also use a microwave. Once the chocolate is melted, we're adding a few jars of fruit jam to elevate the flavor and color of our chocolate. Use any jam you have or prefer. Here I've got kiwi jam, butterfly pea flower jam, and blueberry jam. Let's blend all these into the melted chocolate, mixing thoroughly. Seems like I'm short on a few colors. Need to head to the garden to pick some more fruits. Oh wow, my strawberry plants are bearing ripe fruits. They look so scrumptious. Let's take one back for our jam. But remember, always wash your fruits before indulging. Come on in. 
I've just made some jam and I want to share for you. Oh my god, right on time. Thank you so much. That's marvelous. I don't have to make jam now. Let's let that strawberry soak for a bit. I'll snack on it later. Now, let's pour the jam into the bowl and stir it well. Okay, we have all our colors. Let's pour them into the mold in a rainbow sequence. Starting with the cozy purple. Then blue, green, yellow. Do you remember all the rainbow colors, guys? Looks like I only have room for the red now. And now, into the fridge it goes to set. Voila! A rainbow chocolate is all set and done. Do you love it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. See you all in the next video.
Hey everyone, it's Lucy. Dive in with me for another exciting story. You won't want to miss this. Chocolate. A word that makes our taste buds dance and memories of sweet indulgence come to life. But where did this heavenly treat come from? Our story begins over 3,000 years ago in the lush rainforests of Central and South America. Here, the ancient Mayans worshipped a god they believed gave them the cacao tree, a gift from the heavens. The Mayans harvested the pots from the cacao trees and roasted the seeds inside. This wasn't the sweet treat we're familiar with today. Instead, they ground the roasted seeds and mixed them with water, spices, and sometimes honey to produce a frothy, bitter drink called xacolatl, which means bitter water. The Aztecs, after conquering the Mayans, were introduced to this mystical drink. They too revered it, so much so that cacao seeds became a form of currency and were even thought to be more valuable than gold dust. It was the Spanish explorer, Hernan Cortes, who first brought this xacolatl to Europe in the 16th century. The Spanish royalty quickly developed a taste for it, though they preferred their drink sweetened with cane sugar. And so, the drink that had been exclusive to the elite societies of the Americas began to spread across Europe. The recipe was modified in every corner, adapting to the European palate. Soon, it was sweetened, mixed with milk, and transformed from a frothy drink into the solid treat we know and love today. By the 19th century, with the advent of industrialization, the mass production of chocolate became possible. New processes, like conching and tempering, were developed, enhancing its texture and taste. Brands we recognize today, Cadbury, Nestle, Hershey, they all began to emerge, shaping the chocolate industry and ensuring that this delightful treat reached every corner of the globe. From the sacred rituals of the ancient Mayans to the indulgent chocolate bars we unwrap today, Chocolate's journey is a testament to humanity's love for flavors and stories that stand the test of time. Chocolate is more than just a treat for the taste buds. It's a bridge connecting cultures, eras, and emotions. Scientific studies today even suggest that chocolate, in moderation, can have health benefits, releasing endorphins and promoting heart health. But beyond the science, chocolate reminds us of life's simple joys and moments worth savoring. Whether it's a child's glee at a chocolate bar, a lover's gesture with a box of truffles, or the comfort it brings in solitude, chocolate is a testament to life's sweet moments. In every bite, we find love, history, and a piece of the world. So let's cherish and celebrate the magic of chocolate, a gift that keeps on giving. Hello! Do you want to eat cake with me? Oh yes, that's great! No, I'm out of Kit Kat. Okay, let's make some Kit Kat. Hello everyone, I'm Lucy in the town. What do you feeling today? But first, I've run out of Kit Kats, so guess what? We're going to make them from scratch. Here, I've got condensed milk and cocoa beans. Let's start by roasting these cocoa beans. Once they've dried out, it should take around 15 minutes. Done. Now let's grind them up. Watch my technique closely, guys. It's a bit time consuming, but trust me, we'll end up with the most divine chocolate. And voila! Here's our cocoa powder. How does it look? Let's transfer it to another bowl. 
Now, pour in the condensed milk and mix slowly until it forms into a doughy consistency. Be patient and add the milk bit by bit. Here's the end result. Quite an odd looking dough. Now, it's shaping time. Let's mold them into little round balls. Take your time and be gentle. This part requires a bit of finesse. Ta-da! My handmade Kit Kat. I think that's enough for now. I need to prep the cake base. I've got my cake mixture ready. Remember how we did this. If you've forgotten, drop a comment below, and I'll give you a refresher in the next video. Alright, into the oven it goes, little cake. Oh, do you want it? Meet my little squirrel friend from the tree outside. Bet he'd love some too. Let's share a bit with him. Here comes our favorite part. Slice the cake, pipe the cream, and smooth it out. I'm choosing red for the frosting as it resembles the Kit Kat wrapper. For the newcomers, pay close attention to my steps, please. I've got these cool spiral wires to adorn the cake. Wondering how I made them? Don't be shy, ask away! Okay, place our homemade Kit Kats on top, and voila, our cake masterpiece is complete. Wow, the cake is too cute, I don't want cut it. Thanks for watching me today. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave your lovely comments below. Try. Of course. Oh, give me. I will make a cake for you. Thank you.
Wow, so pretty! Oh, thanks! I took it from my garden! Wow! Hey, anybody in home? You have the delivery! Already done.
to make another cake. Thanks. It's mine. I will make my own Oreo cake. Flour and milk. My Oreo cake is so delicious. I love it. Beautiful, I 
will make a rainbow cake. Well, have to do another one.
I've made some strawberry jam. Try it. Wow, I'm so thankful. Yummy!
sun goes on. Make another one. It's so beautiful. Thank you, unicorn. I'm going to turn this egg into a delicious cake. Let's start by making the sponge cake base together. First, crack the rainbow eggs into a bowl. Then add fresh milk, vegetable oil, and vanilla extract. Use a whisk to beat them until the mixture is well combined. Now, let's prepare another bowl. Pour in the all-purpose flour cornstarch. And sugar. Use a spoon to mix the dry ingredients together. Alright, pour the flour mixture into the bowl with the egg and milk mixture. Next, mix it all together until the batter is smooth. This is the recipe for a sponge cake base that's soft, 
fluffy, and incredibly delicious, loved by many. You should try making it at home. Now, pop the mixture into the oven at 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we'll need some cream for decorating the cake. Right, and whipping cream, sugar, and a bit of melted butter. Whip it up. Divide the fresh cream mixture into six small bowls. Now, it's time for my favorite part. I'm going to add a touch of magic. I've been practicing this magic trick for a long time to show it to you. Do you like it? Wow, after baking, the cake smells of eggs and milk and it's wonderfully soft and fluffy. We're going to cut the cake into three equal layers. Doing this will make the cake more balanced. Pump a layer of buttercream on the bottom of the cake base. Place the first sponge cake layer on top and add another layer of buttercream on top of the cake. Repeat this with the remaining cake layers. Next, cover the entire cake with rainbow cream, spreading it evenly until the surface is smooth. Use melted chocolate to create a flowing effect around the edge of the cake. Rainbow and unicorns. All kids love the colors of the rainbow, don't they? I do too. Now, let's savor this amazing cake together. Yummy, yummy!
Everyone, it's Lucy. Dive in with me for another exciting adventure. You won't want to miss this. Nestled by a dense forest, Yangmi often heard tales of the mysterious forest from her grandmother. Nia, the forest is full of wonders, but also dangers. True bravery is knowing when to protect oneself. One day, Mia's cat, Whiskers, ran into the forest. Without thinking, Mia followed. Yet, her grandmother's advice echoed in her heart. Inside the forest, a friendly fox invited Mia to a dark cave, hinting at hidden treasures. But Mia remembered her lessons. Thank you, but I choose to protect myself. Not all that glitters is gold. Continuing on, she found a sparkling pond. A frog beckoned her to dive deep for a magic stone. But Mia was wise. Tempting offer, Mr. Frog, but it's essential to stay safe. Appreciating her wisdom, the frog gifted her a guiding leaf. Following it, Mia found whiskers, and they safely returned home. Back home, her grandmother smiled, seeing that Mia had not only found whiskers, but had also discovered the true essence of bravery. In life, sometimes the bravest choice is to protect oneself and tread wisely. Let Mia's adventure be a reminder for us all. Stay safe, be brave, and remember, it's okay to say no. The story of Maya's adventure in the forest serves as a metaphorical journey through life's temptations and potential pitfalls. The narrative conveys the message that being brave doesn't necessarily mean diving headfirst into every situation. Sometimes, true bravery lies in the wisdom of understanding potential risks and making decisions that prioritize one's well-being and safety. Bravery and self-preservation, true courage isn't just about taking risks. Oh wait, I have to find M.N. Candy. Oh, here is it. Let's take a little bit. Thank you guys for joining on this journey today. I really hope can see you on the next video. Now, I have to hang out with me friend, see ya! La, 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 la. Give you a delicious cake, the cake is beautiful, thank you! Hey there! Remember me! It's Lucy, back in your town! Join me today, as I have a special treat in store! Trust me, you don't want to miss this! First up, look at these colorful fondant pieces. Let's mold them into tiny balls.
done. Now let's move on to the next step. Follow my lead. Oops, I need some eggs for the cake batter. Let's give these hens a treat first. Thanks for the eggs, my little helpers. Now, crack these eggs into a bowl, sprinkle some sugar. Add a dash of vanilla if you've got any, and whisk until the sugar dissolves. Now, in goes the flour and fresh milk. But remember, just the right amount. Mix it all together until every ingredient is beautifully blended. Pour the mixture into the cake mold. Oh, by the way, I saved some cake from yesterday. Let's indulge together, my friends. Okay. Meet my dear friend, Nina. It's been a while since I saw her. She moved to another city. I have so much to catch up on with her. Once we finish this cake, we'll join her for a lovely tea break. Did you know chocolate is a favorite for many when it comes to birthday cakes? With vanilla trailing behind? The famous German chocolate cake isn't even from Germany. An American named Samuel German crafted a dark baking chocolate in 1852. It later got its name from a recipe in 1957 titled German's Chocolate Cake. Fascinating, right? Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to make this iconic dessert. Okay, now it's time to attach these colorful square fondants. We're almost done. Them on top of the fondant balls we shaped earlier. But remember, design it your way. You don't have to copy me. Sprinkle some multicolored edible confetti in the center of the cake. And voila! Our masterpiece is complete. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. Stay excited for our next culinary adventure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Wow, the cake is so delicious. So yummy. <coughs> hey everyone, it's Lucy. Dive in with me for another exciting adventure. You won't want to miss this. Nestled by a dense forest, young me often heard tales of the mysterious forest from her grandmother. Mia. The forest is full of wonders, but also dangers. True bravery is knowing when to protect oneself. One day, Mia's cat, Whiskers, ran into the forest. Without thinking, Mia followed. Yet, her grandmother's advice echoed in her heart. Inside the forest, a friendly fox invited Mia to a dark cave, hinting at hidden treasures. But Mia... remembered her lessons. Thank you, but I choose to protect myself. Not all that glitters is gold. Continuing on, she found a sparkling pond. A frog beckoned her to dive deep. For a magic stone. But Mia was wise. Tempting offer, Mr. Frog, but it's essential to stay safe. Appreciating her wisdom, the frog gifted her a guiding leaf. Following it, Mia found what... Whiskers, and they safely returned home. Back home, her grandmother smiled, seeing that Mia had not only found Whiskers, but had also discovered the true essence of bravery. In life, sometimes the bravest... ...choice is to protect oneself and tread wisely. 
let Mia's adventure be a reminder for us all. Stay safe, be brave. And remember, it's okay to say no. The story of Maya's adventure in the forest serves as a metaphorical... journey through life's temptations and potential pitfalls. The narrative conveys the message that being brave doesn't necessarily mean diving headfirst into every situation. Sometimes, true bravery lies in the wisdom of understanding potential risks and making decisions that prioritize one's well-being. safety. Bravery and self-preservation. True courage isn't just about taking risks. Oh wait, I have to find him in candy. Oh here is it. Let's take a little bit. Thank you guys for joining on this journey today. I really hope can see you on the next video. Now, I have to hang out with me friends. See ya!
a chocolate rainbow cake visually stunning baking project that combines the rich, indulgent flavor of chocolate with a burst of vibrant colors. We'll begin by putting eggs and flour into a bowl. Now, grab a whisk. Let's blend these ingredients vigorously until they harmoniously come together. Pour melted butter, milk, sugar, and vanilla extract into a bowl. Stirring diligently until the flour completely incorporates. <coughs> wow, amazing! The unicorn has cast a spell that turns my mixture into a mesmerizing rainbow concoction. With magical mixture, gently pour it into a cake mold, ready to bake. While the cake is baking, let's make a rainbow out of fondant. Seems to be missing something. Ah, there are still clouds under the rainbow. This is a rainbow of vibrant colors in the sky. After it bakes to perfection and cools, cut the cake into three equal parts. Spread a thin layer of cream on the top of the cake to create a base layer. Next, frost the entire cake with chocolate cream. Use a spoon to spread rainbow cream around the bottom of the cake in a circular motion until the entire base is covered. As a final step, decorate the rainbow on top of the cake. Let's cut into this delicious cake and enjoy it together. 
Yummy, yummy. to ship to my house.
my god, are you okay? I'm so so sorry, can I make another cake for you? Alright, I'm waiting for you! Okay! I feel so bad! Let's make it up with a perfect Oreo cake! Together, we can make it right! First things first, we'll crush these Oreos! Just enough! Come on! To the chicken coop! We need an egg! Thank you, lovely chickens! Here, let's crack this egg into a bowl! And oh, don't forget the sugar! A dash of vanilla will make it smell like a dream. Whip it up until it's as fluffy as clouds. Next, we add flour, cocoa powder, crushed oreos, and some milk. Mix it all up. Almost there. We can't keep our friend waiting, can we? Into the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit it goes. Just 30 minutes and magic! While that bakes, let's mold some rainbow fondant balls to make our cake extra special. Making cakes is magical, isn't it? With our little creations, we can sprinkle joy everywhere. What do you think? Decorating time! My absolute favorite part! I bet you all have fantastic cake ideas too! Share them in the comments below! Every cake has its unique taste explosion! Bursting with flavors and love! Do you feel the same? Time to spread that cream! Smooth and dreamy, we're on the final steps of our journey. Oh, I love this sky blue color. The cake looks like a piece of the sky, right? rainbow fondant, and ta-da! Our masterpiece is complete. Thank you, little explorers, for being a part of this Oreo adventure. Here you are, my bad. Wow, so amazing. I love it, thanks so much. Hey, y'all. It's Lucy here, straight from our little town. How's your day shining? Come on, join me and let's cook up something sweet and special for a sunny picnic day. First off, we're gonna start with the cake base. I'm using a butter cake recipe today. Let me show you the ropes. Pop that butter in a bowl, add some sugar on it. Now, whether you've got a mixer or just a whisk, until it's all fluffy. Once that butter's softened up and cozy with the sugar, we're good to go. Next up, it's egg yolk time. Thanks, little puppy. Pour in those yolks and give that mixture a good stir. Now for the must-haves, folks. Pour in fresh milk and some flour into the bowl and mix them up good. Am I going too fast for y'all? If you have any questions, don't be shy, drop them in the comments below. All right, our batter's looking all friendly and mixed. Time to pour it into our mold and get baking. We're gonna bake at 350 degree Fahrenheit for a good 40 minutes. Now, I gotta pop over to my friend Lisa's place real quick. Come along, will ya? Hello? Hey, I need some food coloring, do you have it? Oh, yes I have. Here you are. Thanks. Let's come to my house and have a tea break. Say hi to Lisa, y'all. She's just the kindest soul around here. Now, 
With these food colors in hand, let's get to the fun part. Add each color to a bowl of fresh cream and mix them up. Watch closely now. Stir well so the colors blend seamlessly with the cream. Now for the familiar steps. Let's slice that cake and pipe in the cream between layers. And hey, if you want to jazz it up with your fave jams or flavors, go right ahead. Don't forget to frost the outside too. Now, grab a spatula to smooth it all out, making our cake silky smooth. With these vibrant creams, let's start decorating. It might be tricky, but follow along, take it slow, practice, and you'll nail it. My cake might not be perfect, but it sure is made with love. All done and dusted. Time to join Lisa and me for a picnic. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Catch y'all in the next video. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment.